Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome to Blue Plays Ender Lily's Quietest of the Nights. And I know what you're thinking. Blue, you just recently had a poll where nearly a thousand people voted, and this was not any of the games that were in contention. Well, this was mentioned a few times in the comments, and I do actually have an explanation as to why none of those other games are being featured as of right now, but you'll have to check the community post for more, more information on that. Um, needless to say, this has been on my list to play for quite a while. This was actually a gift from one of you, so thank you so much for that. You know exactly who you are. Uh, this game looks really intriguing. Here is the brief synopsis that Steam offers. It is a dark fantasy 2D action RPG about unraveling the mysteries of a destroyed kingdom. On this sorrowful journey, encounter horrific enemies against whom a moment of inattention could be fatal. Overcome these hardships and seek the truth with the help of fallen knights. This was released back in June of 2021. It was developed by Livewire, published by Binary Haze Interactions, I, or Interactive rather, I don't know anything about them. Uh, so this should be interesting. HowLongToBe.com says that this game, the main story takes about 12 hours with a completionist taking about 21 hours. Okay, have a little cutscene while I continue talking, that's okay. And then according to IsThereAnyDeal.com, which is what I use to see if PC games have either been on sale or are on sale, it is normally $25, of course this is US price, it has been as low as $15 in certain Steam sales. So if you're looking to pick this up right now, it is the full price. If you want to support the indie developer, you go right ahead. But if you want to wait for a sale, save yourself a few dollars, you can do that as well. Let's take a quick look at the settings. In the gameplay, they actually have quite a few customization options, display damage, display recovery. Um, I don't even know necessarily what recovery is here. Display gate is above enemies. I might actually end up turning that off as well as the damage, I'm not sure. We'll see, I kinda like to have a clean UI if possible. Hold down to switch spirit set, I don't know what most of these are. I have left all of these default except the camera shake. I love when I am given the option to turn off camera shake, I just am not a big fan of it. Display quest notifications, we'll see. Some of these we may turn on and off depending on what we are experiencing in the game itself. Uh, for the sound, this is absolutely phenomenal design. Super simplistic, but notice, not all games do this. You might you might think that this is something that every game does, but they really don't. So BGM, background music, it actually does change it in the menu so you don't have to do any guesswork. SE or sound effects, the clicking sound is the sound effect so you know exactly what it is. And then ambient, it actually starts playing rain for you to toggle. I just think that is a very, very clever design. I appreciate that. For graphics, pretty standard. It's not a hugely graphically intensive game. Display mode, resolution, resolution scale, and then some very, very simple effects. Uh, I did bump the gamma up ever so slightly just so it is easy to see. You can rebind some controls on controller or keyboard. I am playing on my DualSense controller. Right, let's dive right into Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Nights. Can you hear my voice? Ooh, wow. The game looks way nicer when you're actually playing it. I've looked at, you know, some screenshots and a little bit of footage. You seem to be awake. I don't know who's talking to us. But I've seen some of the, the videos on Steam, but uh, this, it doesn't do it justice and none the worse for wear. Did I frighten you? Kind of looks like the Fallen Knight set from Dark Souls 3. You can thank the priestess for my incorporeal form. Do you remember what fate befell this land? So, you've lost your memories as well. Whoa, a character starting with no memory of how they've gotten here. That's, um, <laughs> that's got to be a new one. Let us be rid of this place for now. It may be best for you to see the state of things outside for yourself. Okay, 
So that knight is already with us. Looks like we are... I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Oh, look at that. When you look up, you actually go up on your toes and... Oh, everything about this is just absolutely adorable. All right, let's play around with some controls. So, of course, we have jump. And let's see. Oh, see, and this is one thing that I was very intrigued by uh, with this game. You, the player character, from what I understand, don't do any attacking whatsoever. It is strictly the spirits that you have with you. So when I attack, I don't. He actually appears and attacks, which is so clever. So nothing on triangle or circle, but that is my square button. Again, there's jump. So left bumper. Probably just healed me, I would imagine. Left trigger is doing nothing. Right bumper. Okay, right bumper looks like it brings up an alternate menu for attacks. That's nice. And then my right trigger is dive. I may end up rebinding that. And the dive, it's not even a roll. It's just a dive. Oh, how adorable. Okay. Is that supposed to be a secret? So a little bit interesting. Your attacks stop you right in your track. So even in midair. Oh, and look at, she actually, did she cover her eyes? Like she doesn't want to see it. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see about any inventory or menus. So progress, it tells me what chapter I'm on, what is my playtime, my status. So I am Lily, I guess, hence the name. Level one out of 100, HP, prayers, which did I just use a prayer? Is that what I use? Prayer potency, blight, attack, residue, stagnant, furious, blight, and ancient souls. Okay, then we have spirit. Ignore that. <laughs> that was just my Bluetooth speaker. My apologies. So right now, I have the Umbral Knight. A black garb knight awakened from a deep slumber. Though not but a blighted spirit, they still retain some semblance of who they once were. So uses are unlimited. So I'm going to find some spirits apparently that are limited. No cooldown. It's aquatic. All right. Hmm. Unleashes a flurry of sword attacks. Attack direction can be changed during the advance. By moving right or left. We'll have to play around with that. Relics. I have slots for two. I don't have any. Collection. Okay. So we can actually look at some of our actions. And there might be a tutorial that's going to tell me this anyway. When HP is low, L1. The power of the white priestess's prayer resonates with her amulet. Restoring HP and activating a protective ward. So while I'm healing, I'm invulnerable. Or maybe I just take reduced damage. Okay. Jump. Gotcha. Dodge. We've seen that. So... Briefly avoid contact with enemies and their attacks, sure. Swim, okay, so we can swim. That's actually something we don't always see. Lily's a dreadful swimmer. <laughs> Never mind, that is something we see all the time. It cannot hold her breath for long. Okay, can paddle along the surface, cannot dive under blighted water. Switch spirits. Okay, so it's not just an alternative attack, it's actually switching spirits with right bumper. Got it. Findings, so we're going to uncover some things as we go, and there is a map. I like that. Current locate, oh, look at that. Respite or respite, depending on um, how they're using that word. Incomplete area, complete area, unexplored route opener. Oh, this game was made for me. All they really need is a blue look here sign, and this game would be perfect for me. I'm going to go left because it seems like that may have been a secret here. And we have an item. Ooh, read. It's a finding, statue inscription. Stone statues in the likeness of the white priestesses. The inscription below the intact statue reads Priestess of the Dawn, while the ruined statue seems to have been one of the Priestess of the Wind. Interact. It's locked. So what does my map actually show if I pull that up now? I don't know. Explored route. Hmm. Can I zoom in? Not much. Oh, you can a little bit. All right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll begin to understand that, I'm sure, as we go. Okay, so that's the... You can actually advance forward if you hold forward. You don't have to, but you can close that distance. Now, is there any combos in the air? Yeah, a little bit, but you don't move forward, even if you hold forward. The art design is, is stunning. Really and truly, I love it. Okay, so here is our little tutorial. Are there illusory walls? I guess we'll find out. Do not be afraid. Wield my power as your own. You seem more than capable. I'm looking around, did we did we collect anything? No, they just disappear into nothing. 
Although it looks like I'm collecting almost like a shadow. Oh, and look at that. Okay, so there are some doors that you have to enter. Okay, we did just get done playing Blasphemous, so hopefully I'll recall that. I'm gonna break these barrels. Nope, they're just in the background. That definitely looks like I should be able to attack it though, right? Ooh. Whoa! Okay, so was that an attack line he was going to use against me? I'm trying to hit that. Alright, I can hit it, but it just swings. Nice momentum though. I like that. So yeah, that is actually him about to attack us. Okay, just checking. Oh, so we have a dodge, so get behind you. And now they do have another bar underneath them. Maybe that is the recovery. I would, I'd be willing to bet that that's recovery. Look at the map, I like that design. Okay, aerial combat, beautiful. Okay, so I can't actually use that. Even, that's interesting. I can't interact with it despite the fact that my Umbral Knight can attack it. Dodge seems rather generous with its iframes. I'm I'm digging it so far. And I imagine I can jump down. I sure can. You know, I I just wish games would just tell you. Not where are the illusory walls, but if there are illusory walls. Should I be attacking everything? Well, we already had actually kind of an illusory wall or an illusory path, if you will. So you want me to pray? Why should I pray if I'm not damaged? Nope, wrong button. <laughs> Aline's letter, dear Sigrid, I want you to deliver the amulet unto that white priestess. It's a necklace I bestow upon all priestesses, but I've been I've imbued it with a blessing. I'm certain the ward will protect her from the threat of the blighted words can be broken and restored. But that is something only a priestess can manage. I count on you to see this through. Yours, Elena. That, I think it's probably Elena. So Elena has given this amulet to us in order to pray. So I'm wondering if it's not using a prayer because I am full of health. If so, love that mechanic. Don't let me actually overheal. Okay, so showing me the main menu. We've actually already gone through that, which is nice. Also, up in the top left, similar to Hollow Knight, but also different. Looks like we, maybe we have a vessel that's filling as we defeat enemies. Okay, so we can break some of these that are in the foreground. I don't know if I'm getting anything out of them. Oh, yes we are. An amulet fragment. Max HP plus five. Part of an amulet worn by a white priestess. The tiny shatter fragment still glows with a faint light. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm watching that gauge up in the top left that is filling with these shadow fragments as I kill enemies. On the Blighted One. As the mind, body, and soul of those afflicted with the Blight is consumed, rot spreads throughout. This rot possesses superb regenerative properties, granting undying flesh. The link between mind and body is cut in time, and the host is driven purely by the wrath of the Blight. That's interesting. Why? It feels like you gave me this ledge for a reason. Okay. I'm going to call these respites. Respites act as checkpoints. Resting will restore your HP along with spirit and prayer uses. Resting will call forth all defeat of Blighted to walk the land once more. In other words, all enemies are going to be um, respawned. How fare you? Let us rest a spell. Using a respite will restore your status and save the game. You may now access Blighted Memories. Rewatch any previously viewed cutscenes that you have encountered. Love that. And you even give it a name. It's not just watch cutscenes, you call it a Blighted Memory. And I, you know, that's just a nice little touch. So, fast travel. We don't have any more benches to sit at. Nothing to do with spirits, relics, or enhance. Uh, memories, though. There's the prologue, which we didn't actually watch. I didn't realize that wasn't going to play when I started the game. Save and depart. All right. Let's just depart. We're in the cellar. 
on the Blighted too. There are Blighted whose minds do not fade. This is no saving grace, however, as it is said that they must endure an eternity of pain and suffering. The miracle of the White Priestess is the only true salvation for those who come to be cursed with the Blight. headed. Come on this way. What is the cooldown like on the dodge? Actually, not bad at all. Wait a minute. Did resting reset my, it might, is my spirit that gauge up in the top left? Not sure if, if it is or not. Whoa, thought you were dead. Just trying to watch that gauge now to try and see if I can understand it a little better. I actually like that it pauses in the air and doesn't carry you forward. It, it might actually make that a little more strategic, potentially. Oh, I just went right into it. Good job. That's right. Not too damaging. Oh, don't walk up there. All right, just die. Let's look for any illusories, nothing. I may actually end up turning the background music down ever so slightly, but maybe I'll, I'll get this first episode out and you can tell me what you think. Okay, so that gauge is filling up nicely. attack. What if I attack you? What if I attack your shield? Oh, nothing. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. Should have guessed that. Is there a charge attack? There's no charge attack. Yeah, and I can't grab onto those. If you could use those to swing, that'd be a pretty fun mechanic. And I don't even know if you need to attack those illusory paths that I found, or maybe if just walking is enough. Yeah, I think I want maybe, okay, I need to find a lever. I think I maybe want more of a clean UI. So I think in between episodes, I'll, I'll oh jeepers, I'll adjust that a little bit. A door opens in the distance. Yes, I imagine it's the one up there. Obviously, inspiration for all of Elden Ring's many catacombs. This way should lead back up. Well, then I don't want to go that way. <laughs> no, no offense, Umbral Knight. Ooh, we almost have that gauge filled up. wonder what will happen then. Oh, you're large. All right, not too bad. Oh, another amulet fragment, HP up plus five, great. So can I see those anywhere? Maybe in collection or relics, no? No, no indication of those fragments. Well, I'm glad we came this way anyway. I get the feeling, I mean, obviously I'm very early. This game may not pose much of a challenge, but I think that's okay. Games don't always have to be tough as nails to be enjoyable. Then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's going to be just a massive difficulty curve coming up. Hey, level up. Okay, now can I lose levels? Level two out of 100. What has changed? Did my attack go up? I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if my blade has changed. My attack, my prayer potency, I don't think it has. The Parish Way One. Carriers of the Rod appeared from the Land of Snow, bringing calamity to Land's End. 
said to be the ancient's revenge, the rot drove people to madness and transformed them into monstrosities. Carriers of the rot came to be known as the Blighted. All right, definitely not getting that just yet. Tainted by the blight, never to die. So a new bench, can we now fast travel? No, we're gonna have to find a way to fast travel. Look, oh, wow. That that might end up being the thumbnail. That's, that's gorgeous. And screenshot time. Oh. Oh, I think I bumped the trigger. I thought that was a forced rest. This is feeling like a boss battle coming up. The air is thick with the rot of the blight. Take heed. To protect her, I must destroy, 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 destroy! No oh, ball and chain. Guardian Seek. Oh no, not Seagrid. All right, you can uh, you can dash like me. Oh, okay, that was smart. Yeah, I gotta stop actually carrying forward with that though. Back up. Oh, we might almost have her stunned. Oh, oh, I should probably heal up. Taking a little bit more damage than I realized. Oh, yep, she's stunned. Or she's transforming. Oh, phase two. Fa Whoa, she's a lot bigger now. Phase two, ooh, different color bars there, that's interesting. Close the gap. I like the aerial combat. Ooh, probably should have dodged through that. Now, I know that the combat will be a little bit more nuanced once I get new spirits, I imagine. Although, I like the aerial combat. It's fun. Okay, good early boss. Oh, no. Okay, not a phase. Not a phase three. I was supposed to protect you. I adored the priestess of the fount. She was our only hope against the immortal blighted. With unflinching resolve and a smile on her face, she epitomized radiant tenderness. My sister's letter informed me that the priestess was in poor health. It seemed the burden of her purification rituals was taking its toll. I couldn't rejoice at the peace she brought at the cost of her own well-being. Moreover, I couldn't forgive myself for not being able to protect her as a guardian. No, it was my own sister who was chosen for that role. In my darkest hour, I found solace in Lily, who was much like the priestess herself. Even if I couldn't serve her as a guardian, the least I could do was protect her. But then the rain began to fall. Cries of pain rang out in the distance. The chief guardian called it the reign of death. I gave Lily sanctuary and took my weapon in hand. The rain never let up. Got a new guardian, Guardian Sigrid. Swings an iron ball to attack surrounding enemies. Sub skills have a cooldown and limited number of uses, but can be used in conjunction with other skills. Sigrid guarded the Sept to protect the White Priestess Lily. 
never-ending bloodshed caused her to be consumed by madness. Guardian sleep while airborne. Oh, so we grant an extra jump. The blighted wings of Guardian secret. Oh, we get a double jump. The soul has been purified, no longer imprisoned by blight. Within that memory just now, the woman called you Lily. Surely that is your name. If you retrace the memories of the blighted in life, you may just remember something yourself. I don't think that was of much comfort. It may prove difficult, but can you carry on? Purification. So what, what is that purification that I just got? What, what does that mean? Ooh, my blade is 100 out of 148. What, what is that? I guess we'll find out over time. So we now have, do I have to actually set these? Okay, they can only be changed while at a respite. Okay, 13 uses of the sub skill. No relic, no finding. So I don't know what the, maybe the purification is just, I did get a, an achievement when that happened. So maybe that's all that was supposed to be. Uh, white Parish. I don't think I want to go to the White Parish. I want to backtrack and go to that one item I saw. Not really sure why Confetti just rained from the ceiling. Well, I guess if we rest, we could bring her out. I'd like to see it. You possess blighted spirits with skills at your disposal. All right. You may now access purified memories. Okay. Refight any previously purified boss whose memories you have. Oh. So blighted memories are cutscenes you can watch, but purified memories, you can actually refight. That's fun. I like that. So we'll put that on set two. And now I can bring her out. All right. That's great. Soiled prayer beads. It's a relic. Slightly increases maximum HP. A rosary worn by the white priestess's guardian. Extensive training took place underground until someone was chosen to be her protector. Well, I don't want to use Sigrid right now. Because, well, frankly, if it's a limited use, and I... Oh, should we test something? Let's test something. Let's use it once. That's pretty cool. And if I rest, do those maybe come back? Oh, you have a relic in your possession. Oh, right, because it actually has to be equipped, not just picked up. Okay. And, yes. Okay, great. Good to know. So in between rests at a respite, those limited use skills, well, are limited. <laughs> and then once you rest, you get them back. I was hoping it wasn't just a one and done thing. That would be truly unfortunate. Are you all right? Don't push yourself, take a rest. Well, we've already rested, so I don't think we need to do that anymore. All right, let's push on. The rain of death, bringer of blight. Should I not be in the rain then? Chaos had taken the villagers long before even my arrival. But did the rain end them or the blighted? My bond with the priestesses is, is a perennial one. I may not be able to lead the charge in this form, but my blade is yours. Don't look so surprised. You think me the sort of wretch to leave a child out in this horrid rain? Let us trudge on.
Oh my. Have you met before? It seems their cognizance faded before succumbing to madness. They don't appear to be a threat, but best keep your distance. I'm not gonna take that advice. Groa's letter, Dear Bale, Thank you for your continued service in ferrying the White Priestess and her guardians. My son hopes to one day be as fine a coachman as you, to ride as gallantly on his fine a horse. Please, do call on us when you visit the parish. Blessed be the tranquil white light, Groa, Chief Guardian. Well, once we get multiple enemies, we'll try out Sigrid in actual combat. Okay, so I can use double jump to get up there. Not a whole lot to say as of right now. You know, simple is fine. There's nothing wrong with simple. There's nothing inherent. Okay, so turning is a little interesting. <laughs> you actually have to make sure that you turn your character. Otherwise, you kind of get stuck almost halfway through and you have this little delay. Uh, excuse me. I need to kill you. I need that spirit to level up. Yeah, I find myself almost getting stuck. Ooh. When I, when I try to turn red and white flowers, Lily may find flowers blooming with mystical power that will help her on her journey when destroyed. Red flowers are blight wreath red flowers will restore spirit uses. White flowers, the blessings of magic infused white flowers will restore prayer uses. Okay. <laughs> I hate to comp keep comparing it to a massive game like Elden Ring, but this is like the teardrop scarabs, the crimson and the cerulean teardrop scarabs you find in Elden Ring. I'm trying to think of other games that actually have this mechanic, and I'm not actually recalling. I, I, I'm sure you all will let me know down below, but so these are white, so this is going to give me back, well, I didn't need any, but that was my, uh, my prayer usage, which I'm going to need because I just keep walking through. Oh, wow, he was aggressive. Okay, well, that is red. So tell you what, if that's red, let's go down here. <laughs> hey, level up with that. Perfect timing. And then we'll just attack this with... Oh, that's a prayer. And I just healed again because... Oh, and it did use it that time. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I was wrong before. I think you can accidentally over prayer, over pray. Okay, can I? Yep, I can just attack you from straight down there. Easy enough. Is there anything up here? Doesn't appear so. Get you to attack again. Really didn't need that. But then again, if I'm finding them those that frequently, I kind of want to start using secret more. Oh! I can... Oh, so it did say you can use them in conjunction, meaning I can get secret out and then use the Umbral Knight, switch to the Umbral Knight and start... To, okay. It's not one or the other. I want to do that again. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's great. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, we're going to hop down there with Seagrid and just go nuts. Same thing. Oh, that combination is a lot. Ooh. So what do you suppose we have here? 
I'm not sure. Can I make this jump? Definitely not. But up there I could. Oh, careful now. Hold on. Well, I meant to use Secret for that. Alright. Slightly more challenging now. You hop down. Great. Very nice. Didn't even realize it. Oh, yes, I did. I knew we were level 3. That happened a while ago. Whoa, Cliffside Hamlet Youth. What? That sounds sad. Why are you a boss? This pain, it's unbearable. I got a new spirit. Performs an arced leap and lands with enough force to shatter and damage surrounding enemies. Probably how I break through that barrier I just saw. Separated from his mother in the midst of a terrible storm, the boy set off for the White Parish in search of help. He never arrived. Oh, that's all kinds of depressing. But in order to use that, I will need to make it to another respite, right? Also, my blight's going up, and I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely going to break with the Hamlet boy. Ugh. Well, maybe there's a respite nice and close then. We can go try that out. That's interesting. Oh, that's water. <laughs> I was wondering what that line was, and it's just, it's just water. Okay. Hold. Something approaches. Hey! Oh, I bet we just unlocked fast travel. Or rather, it follows. I sense no clear mind. It seems to be drawn by your amulet. Perhaps they were once in service to a white priestess. Is there desire to assist us? Few priestesses are a rare breed. I believe it is here to help out. Fast travel is now accessible. Excellent. And we can go to anyone we want. Beautiful. Excellent. And I love, look at that. Look at this map. Complete area or incomplete area. Meaning if you've collected everything, it's complete. If you have not, it's incomplete. And then you also have unexplored routes. This game was made for me. All right, let's swap out. Let's swap out Seagrid for... The Cliffside Hamlet Youth, and let's go see about opening up that one passage, and then I think we'll call it a part there. Oh, wait a minute, can I? Oh. So maybe, no, that doesn't break it. It looks like that bridge should be able to be broken. I don't know that I would necessarily want to. what's the deal with that enemy that just just dies in a single hit no was I wrong I apparently was wrong huh I was so sure I was so very sure right well I guess um guess we have yet to find the power that's going to allow us to do that right well anyway this has been the first part of blue plays ender lilies quietest of the nights and I gotta say it's a lot of fun it is maybe a bit more casual even though I have come close to dying already than previous games we've played on the channel but I hope it's something you can find yourself getting into and maybe give it a try yourself if you played it let me know down below what you thought of it but this is going to be the series for the next little bit so I hope you enjoy and I hope that you've had a good time watching so far and I oh that spirit is so sad <laughs> I will see you next time